Yeah, oh yeah, we'll go ahead and get that uh, flywheel painted right there and get that on that engine over there soon. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, welded up that stand right there for that there tank to go on this end down right down here. Uh, so I can uh, put some solid wire in that welder right there. That's that whole bar. Change the color on that uh, circus wagon. And we get that engine on it right there sooner or later. Just saying. And we get a little more color on that thing tomorrow. Well, they say a cluttered workbench is a good thing. Just saying. Little math there, little uh, budgeting. But uh, Harry's old engine uh, website. Uh, it's really good. It's if you want to know something about these old engines, just just click on Harry's old engine. You know, just just type in old engine and you'll get to it. And they they got a section on there called Smokestack, and you can make a comment and somebody will answer it. So, anyways, uh, uh, I've been reading on there, and somebody left me a comment there about these. E EK Magnetos by Wyco. Uh, a couple of things, actually. Oh, yeah. That's BC 2020 right there. That's a good chisel. That's a blunt punch right there. But a couple of questions on there. And one of them is, is how to put that spring on that thing right there. And, and I'll show you a tool I made to do that with, and you might want to make yourself one if you're going to put on more than one. If you're just going to put one on there, you know, just get a couple pair of uh, them needle nose pliers, you know, bend it and put on there and move on. But I'm just saying. And then I think the other question was is about that magnet up there. And this right here is an original Wyco company coil that they actually produced you know it's got the original coils in there with the part numbers on there and all that you know and uh <clears throat> but it also has this kind of uh, yeah, be careful with it well it's got some magnet to it well uh, it, it's, it's it's got the original condenser in there the whole thing's all original um yeah uh, i think it need, i'm gonna put a condenser in it but anyway the, the the question at hand is about this magna in this ek magneto is it for real original and all that kind of stuff and, and what about it and it's really good there's nothing wrong with it it's just this this is actually a factory one here and you can get one here on the internet. Somebody sells one that this this straps a little bit wider than that right there. Uh, I think it's stainless steel or something. Maybe has some uh, different kind of magnet or something right there. But it's really close to this right here, and it works really good. I think maybe their strips goes all the way. And, and anyways, I, I'm just showing you this right here. That if yours is like this right here, then it's a factory original one. But if it's a replacement, it'll, it'll be a little bit different right there. But for sure, it's an EK and all that. Just saying. Now, bringing that Hobart welder, you know, make an indoor welder out of it. Add some gas. There we go. And build a stamp for it. Little side trip. Oh, yeah. That got turned upside down now. I done already rubbed it down there with some filler in them holes, you know, kind of slick it up a little bit. You know, a couple of three different colors of paint on it, you know, done already been scrubbed down with some 220. I'm just saying. 
parts department. Now a little filter on that bottom panel turned upside down right there. Now we'll scrub these rails on this side down with some 220 paper. 